Hello guys and welcome to Saints Row Get Out of Hell. The summer season is the driest time for games and I have literally nothing else to put up on the channel. I have a few older games like Bully and stuff I might play, I don't know. But this game is free on PlayStation Plus like as of July. Uh, that's not the reason I'm playing it. Um, that's not how I got it. I just saw a bunch of people on my friends list playing it and I thought, fine. Because I actually got the re-elected edition like a couple of months Oh, about a year ago, something like that. And I traded it in because I'm an idiot and I wanted to get something else. And I'm looking to get the Saints Row 4 on PS4 again. It's like really cheap online. Like really cheap. And I'll probably play that on my channel. Um, I don't know. I like the Saints Row games. They're just, just goofy fun. And this is not going to be a long series at all. Um, it's, it's not really got much of a story to it. It's It's kind of like... You have to just do a bunch of side activities until you like fill up this bar at the top of the screen and then you get to a boss fight. Like the last boss fight. There's like, and then like the main, main y sort of missions that they have are like 10 minutes long. So this is gonna be a very short series, like I guarantee five, six episodes max. I don't, I don't see it going past anything like that. It's really short. But, I don't know. I mean, I guess it can be sort of entertaining to watch, uh, you know. I just have nothing else to play, like, there is no other games right now I can play. But, I'll, I'm looking to get my hands on Saints Row 4 pretty soon, it's very cheap online, so I'll probably play that. Um, I don't have a like goal or anything for this, usually when I start off a new series I like to get it to maybe 10 likes. I don't know, if we could do that, that that would be awesome, but uh, if not, it's fine. It's not, again, it's not, it's not going to be a huge game. I just thought it'd be something to play, or it's really the only game I can play right now, but I hope you guys will go on to enjoy the short series that this is going to be, and if you are, then please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you are new, make sure to follow me on Twitter, link will be in the description, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a man so exceptional that the divine hosts of heaven and hell were forced to take note. A man dangerous enough to bring Satan to his knees, but selfless enough to make God himself raise an eyebrow. How did this come to pass? Well, it all began at a very special birthday party for a very special young lady. Surprise! What is all this? It's your birthday, Kenzie. So? You've never been to a birthday party. No. Oh, like not even growing up? I went to the School of the Americas since kindergarten. We didn't really do birthday parties. But you celebrated Christmas? I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, Kenzie, this is going to be so much fun. Zinjai made a cake. Jane Austen is here. We'll play some games. What sort of games? So you celebrate birthdays by trafficking with spirits? It's spooky and fun. It's a bunch of letters. It's tradition. Every slumber party has to involve a spirit board. Slumber party? How's it work? We ask it a question, and the spirit of the board will reveal the answer. How? Yeah, someone pushes the pointy thing to wherever they want. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go back to you and your slumber parties? No time. All right. Everyone put their hands on the cursor. Cursor? I feel the magic already. All right. Will the president slash god emperor for life ever choose a partner to reign alongside them? No. Ooh, someone's getting married. Shut up, Matt. Who will tame the president's wild heart? <laughs> what are you guys trying to spell? I'm not moving it. That's the spirit, Kinsey. I'm serious. I'm not moving it either. Neither am I. Jezebel? Who the fuck is... <laughs> Is that not normal? Where'd you get the board? I was going through Zinyak's artifact collection and found it there. Who did it belong to? Alistair Crowley? Jesus Christ. Um, guys, I think it's laughing at us. Fuck this. A 
think you're a smart enough piece of wood to see where this is going. Now, you ready to cooperate? That's more like it. You think we can trust it? It's not like we got a lot of options. So what's the plan? We mount up and go in after the boss? No, I do. No sense in what's left of humanity walking right into a death trap. Someone's got to live to tell the story. That's a stupid plan, Johnny. I'm leaving you in charge. Hell of a plan, Johnny. Are you serious? I'm coming too. Are you kidding me? How do you plan to come back? I try not to sweat the details. You need someone with you that does. No. It's my birthday. Fine. All right, then. You know where my friend is? True to its word, the spirit board opened up another portal and sent Johnny and Kinsey screaming into hell. Altor's behind this, I know it. Altor and the Saints haven't been enemies in years. You really think he's responsible? You don't know him like I do. The boss put him through a window for a reason. The reason mm. is the boss was kind of fucking crazy back then. That's a fair point. You know how much easier this would be if we just found a car? You know how much easier this would be if you just gave me a second? Oh, Saints Row 2 was such a good Saints Row. And if you know, that's why he... Are we going this? Oh, no, there's one there. Yeah, that's why, that's why he meant in Saints Row 2, this damn vulgar guy. All right. How are we gonna find the altar? Was the head of altar and you shoot him? Building down here, giant altar sign on it. In the I face. Don't think this is the problem. Oh, come here. Yeah, there's a map. You shoot him. You shoot him like straight in the face, and he goes flying out of a window, and it's amazing. Saints Row 2. I don't know. I think Saints Row 2 is probably my favorite Saints Row. I don't know. And Saints Row 3 was. Saints Row 3 was. Oh god. Saints Row 3 was awesome as well. That was my first Saints Row, and Saints Row 4 was just. I don't know what it was. It was fun as hell though. I don't know. I have only I've only played this once. I don't know. We'll have to see how I get if I get back into it. I don't really know. Controls for now are the same, but you know, then we get like wings Look and stuff us. like that. We can fly. Kinsey Kensington and Johnny Gat driving together on a birthday adventure. Are you always this excited? Generally, I'm a misanthrope. I get it. I'm getting kind of a Doom feel from it right now. <laughs> like the new Doom that just came out. I really want to play that. If I do, I'm definitely gonna put that up. But I don't know. I really want that. Oh god. Oh god. E Jesus. So this is hell. Not as bad as oh, cool. I thought. Kind of reminds me of Steelport. What? Wait, we stuck? Really? It says access map. I know what to do. Yeah. It's on altar. Well oh no no no, what are you doing? <laughs> well, we're not going in this thing anymore. We've got to find another one. Here, there'll be one over here. Wait, I want to try something. Let me just... You can just go up to... I think we may have got yeah. the attention of the demons. How do we want to handle this? We handle it by killing demons. Ooh. See, this is one of the just the fun things about Saints Row. You should go around. You can just do crap like this to everyone. Okay, then. He was doing the whole... Thing. Take this one. Yeah. Kinsey, get in. Kinsey. Hurry up. We're getting shot at. We've only been in hell for like five minutes. Come on. This little mini Cooper from hell. Oh god, what is with this? What is with the driving? There we go. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know. It's just fun to just go around and, well, in this case, stab people. I don't know. So, what's the plan? Oh yeah. I'm gonna shoot him in the face unless he gives us the boss back. What if Dean doesn't have the boss? I'll probably still shoot him in the face. The driving is so floaty. And again, though, you never, you only, the last time where you really driving was like. Saints Row 3. You don't you can you can basically glide you can you can glide in Saints Row one more. I love doing this. <laughs> you got the glide in Saints Row and this one you can fly. There's just no point. Alright. Dane Vogel. Welcome to hell. Shouldn't you have a receptionist? Such is the plight of eternal damnation. I have a feeling you didn't come here to catch up. Let's talk in my office.
Not even death could stop the enterprising Vogel, who wasted no time in setting up an Altor branch in the bowels of hell. Dane was eager to fill Johnny in on the ever-shifting politics of land rights in the underworld. But real estate mattered little to Johnny, who only cared where his friend was. Where'd you put the president? I've been trying to explain that I didn't take them. Bullshit. You expect me to believe you just happen to be the first thing we see in hell. Maybe it's just me, but your thank you sounds more like an accusation. That's probably because he plans to kill you. Okay. I get the trust issues. Can I show you something? The pieces all came together. The president had caused more chaos and destruction than any other in human history. It was only natural that Satan would want them to marry his daughter. They needed a plan, and Johnny had one. I'm gonna shoot the devil in the face. I think you might be skipping some details. No, I said in the face. I like the commitment, but you gotta find a way to get close enough to him in the first place. When's the wedding? I'll just show up and... and then you'll shoot him in the face. Sorry, but it's a little more complicated than that. These things are tied to the soul. You won't be able to enter without one. So how do we get one? You get his attention. I know some places that are of particular value to the father of the bride. You hit those, you'll get your shot. Wait, why would Satan give out an invitation for destroying his stuff? Oh, he won't, but it should piss him off enough to get him to attack Johnny personally. Either the devil kills Gat and Ultor gets the construction contracts to rebuild what was destroyed, or Johnny kills Satan and I'll have to pay less taxes. It's pretty win-win. That's why you're helping us? To make more money in hell? Hell's what you make of it, sweetie. Works for me. What you got? All right. Satan had entrusted the day-to-day -day running of hell to five archdukes, and Dane knew how to find them all. But beyond that, not everyone in Hell was content to go along with Satan's status quo. There were others who shared Dane's ambition for power, and the Altor Mogul knew that the key to unseating Satan lie in gaining their aid. But before Johnny set out to wage war against the Prince of Darkness, Dane had one final gift. An artifact that he had spent fortunes on. Lucifer's Cracked Halo. This holy relic granted Johnny the majestic wings of the Morning Star. However, he still needed help in learning how to use them. I don't really like those cutscenes. Like, the in game ones are fine, I just don't like. I just didn't really like the st whole right, storybook ones. Six. Now what? Would it kill you to show a little excitement? <clears throat> You're about to experience angelic flight, for Christ's sake. Dane. Someone needs a nap. Just collect some soul clusters and power up the halo. You'll be flying around in no time. Hey, better better swing. Now you should have just enough clusters to power up your halo. Okay, okay, all right, arcane. Buy super sprint. And flight powers, okay. Got super sprint. So now we don't run like a little bitch anymore. And we got flight. And we can fly now. Well, we can jump. Okay. Return to the. Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's start slow. Yeah, there jump you go. Jump over to that next island. Also, the longer you charge your wings before jumping, the further you'll go. Eesh. Hey, you didn't fuck it up. Good job. Now get up that cliff. Don't worry. Now it's time to fly. You heard of crawling? I'm going walking. too fast, Fidane, well, all right? Case, you need to jump before you can fly. Launch yourself in the air with a jump, and then hold your wings out to climb. You'll have to the dive hell? to reach the next island. Do that by pointing your head down. It didn't even Before load the rest fully. Of your body will follow. I put a shiny flap orb nice. out in front of you. Collect the orb, and your wings will flap to gain speed. Well, isn't that great? All right, now try flapping those wings on your own. Do a flap on your way to the next island. Go down and play. Great. So we're in a Minecraft map. 
<laughs> the exact opposite of diving is climbing. Climbing will slow you down and eventually cause you to stall. And trust me, stalling sucks. You can flap while gliding to gain additional speed. So the faster you're... All right, I have to take the train... Shut up, I'm going... F I'm flying, flying faster than you can talk. <laughs> if you run out in midair, you are going to drop like a rock. Let's get you back to the old tour building. I want to run through all the stuff you can do to hurt Satan. Sure thing. See you soon. That was it. That was easy. Here's the deal. If you want some face time with Satan, you need to get his attention. Now, Satan hates being challenged, so anything you do to undermine his control is good. Fraud, mayhem, shooting demons in the face, anything. You can keep track of Satan's wrath with this handy meter. Get it high enough, and you'll be having drinks with Big Red in no time. I've compiled a list of shit to do, so take a look and do whatever sounds fun. Oh, one more thing. We have some potential allies down here. Trust me, you want to impress them. So yeah, that's what I mean. It's literally just doing side activities until you piss him off enough to get to the boss fight. That's all it is. There's not really much else to it. All right, so we got super sprint, and we got uh, we got our launching jump. We can also flap, and we can fly. Yeah, Saint Swings. Show your colors in Hades with these bad boys. You can ignore what you said about the de default wings. These bad boys really make something special. Oh, can we? Weapon Skull. Pre-order bonus pack. You unlock the Jester Skull. Made famous by Shakespeare and powered by the souls of the all de demand. Purchase the all ultimate upgrade to unleash the full power of... Wait, I got a bunch of stuff. Wait, I wanna... I wanna... I wanna check this out. Um... So, wait, how is it... Might as well take a look. Alright, so we can grip straight health. Fine, we'll do that. Uh, we got, okay, help, help weapons. I mean, we don't really need them. We literally have, a f like, a fist. I think those are good enough. Bonuses. Let me check XP. It says I can, like, change my, um, it said I can change my wing. Frickin', I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's in here. Let me check. Um... Oh, we can, oh, cool, we can upgrade. Okay, should we flap? Stamina recovery. Um, I'm gonna just... Yeah, let's go with... Let's go with... Um, wait, it won't let us. I won't let us down. Oh, we don't have any. God damn it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, well... I... I don't know. Okay, so I didn't know how to change the wings, but I guess that means that they'll be purple, which is pretty cool. Oh, we missed that. Uh, but now we're just doing one of these, we're just getting, I guess we're just doing these missions, like, I'll just show you real quick, alright, we got, no, not the map, the quest log, alright, we got a bunch of these, so we're doing these ones, we can do four, we've got four of these, these shouldn't take long, but then there's, like, just all these little tiny ones, I think, I'm pretty sure the loyalty missions are definitely, like, the, um, they're, like, the, the major ones, I don't know, but I feel, we kind of have to do these now, because it gives us, like, a bunch of weapons, and, but here's Blackbeard's, there's not something ridiculous, yeah. like a hundred of these to find. Oh, there probably will be. All right, so touch the wheel. What will happen? Abandoned ship. We've been boarded. <laughs> well, all right then. Damn things off my ship. Oh, I thought we had the. Oh, yeah, what's well, it? Rally Blackbeard. Let's me. do this. What the hell are you doing? He's like Sonic. Oh, it won't let me. Alright, fine. I'll use my gun. Oh, what's the point? Oh, actually, this. What? Oh, Alright then. Oh, there's a lot of these bastards. What are you doing? Get away from me. I don't even need to aim. Alright. Ah, bam. Bam. Okay. Oh, Blackbeard. Oh, Blackbeard. I got a bit of treasure in that chest over there. The weapon you find inside may help with our little imp problem. The army booty inside the chest. Oh, it's a hammer. Ooh. Ooh, that looks pretty badass. What's this thing? Is that whack a mole? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh! Oh my god. Ah! Actually, this is pretty cool. Bam! It's like... 
Oh my god, I feel like Tom trying to chase Jer Jerry right now. Kill imps. That's what they are, right? Okay. Got half of them anyway. Where's the other one? No, no, no. What are you doing? Ah. Camera. Bam. Summon these imps to serve <laughs> as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. Okay. Well. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's more. No. Oh, that was right on the noggin. This is a cool weapon, but I still like just going around, just literally just stabbing people. That sounded a bit sadistic. I've already killed 40 of these things. 43. 44. Oh my god. Oh god, Blackbeard. The pirate voice. What pirate voice would that be? Wow. Yep. This is music. What was Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency. It created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. Well, okay then. Yeah, I don't want those missing too much. We've got some new upgrades now, so we've got summons. Okay, well, sounds good. Um, uh, <laughs> someone, okay, we got imps. All right, cool. Blackbeard has revealed his pirate gold glyphs. All right, we got God's camera. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I think it's been long enough. Um, about 20 minutes or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know how you guys feel about this game. I mean, it's not... Oh, shut up. I don't, I don't want to hear your voice. Oh my god, I'm trying to do an outro. Well, I had to get away from him because he was ruining my outro. But again, like I said, I don't know how you guys feel about this. Um, I mean, let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm going to finish the game anyway. It's not like I've got anything else uh, to do. But uh, I guess that's really it for now. I'll see you in part two. This is not going to be a long series at all. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Uh, like I said, if we can get like 10 likes in this first episode... That'd be pretty good. If not, you know, it's fine. But, nah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm losing my words. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy. We are going to descend into the bowels of lava. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, and comment down below. And I will see you guys in part two. So until then, have a fantastic day.